Hello, my name is Dr. James Sutton, and I'm going to show you today uh, kind of a, well, I call it a therapeutic tool, a way to uh, engage a little spontaneity with a youngster you might be doing counseling or therapy with. It's a big old pair of balloon lips. Let me share with you where this came from. I wrote a book a few years back called 101 Ways to Make Your Classroom Special. I'm a psychologist, but I used to be a special education teacher and uh, used this strategy. Uh, this book, by the way, was uh, endorsed to my great satisfaction and pleasure by Harry Wong. If you're an educator, you know who I'm talking about. It's also in the newer publication called 60 Ways to Reach a Difficult and Defiant Child. Over the past 30 plus years, I've put together ideas and strategies that I've used and then I've borrowed from other folks to uh, help make the counseling process just go a little smoother. And this is one of them. I call them balloon lips or my big mouth or whatever, and I'm going to show you how I make these. I'm going to put the instructions on my blog, which you'll see how to get to that at the uh, end of this video, and you'll be able to do a search under the exact same title that this video is under. Well, I used to blow these up by hand, but I'm going to use a pump now because it's just a lot easier. You blow up about, I don't know, about uh, 16, 18 inches of this. That looks pretty good right there. Tie it off so that you don't have a balloon leaking on you anyway. And I'm having trouble with that already. Let me see. There we go. Got it tied off. And then you fold it right here in the middle somewhere and bring those two ends together. That is the beginning of the tail and the end you just tie it off and tie those together. So what you end up with is something that looks like that. And then you take, this is going to be your headband right here, and tie that back to that middle part that you just folded. All right? And after you, and be sure to tie that in a good knot. After you're through with that, you're ready to use it. Now I might say to a youngster, I bet I can make you smile. And the kid might say to me, no, you can't. Well, I do bet I can when I do this. This is the tricky part. You notice I took my glasses off. Ha! Da la, da la la. Now, they don't smile. You better check them for a pulse. Usually works, or I might say, if you don't smile, I'm going to keep these on until you smile. <laughs> By the way, teachers can use these very effectively in the classroom as a fun way to say, give me your attention. For instance, put them on and say, read my lips, or just stand at the door as the students are coming in. They probably will look at you like you're strange, but it certainly will be fun and might loosen them up a little bit before you have to take an important test. Balloon lips. My name is Dr. James Sutton, and it's been my pleasure to share it with you.